Now let's talk about this TV show Chance on Hulu. Now this is a pretty interesting show actually. It starts Hugh Laurie, who is always really good, um, and he plays a neuropsychiatrist. Now this is a pretty interesting look at that world because essentially, as a neuropsychiatrist, his character not only looks at the psychology of a person, but also at any possible physiological brain situations that may cause them to have schizophrenia or any kind of neurosis or whatever problem they may have or disorder, there may be a physiological or physical reason for it as well as a psychological reason. So that's pretty fascinating stuff on its own. Essentially, the overwhelming plot line here is he has a, a female patient that he wants to help out that's played by Gretchen Maul. And things go wrong, right? Uh, maybe someone doesn't want him to help her, and that, I don't want to give too much away here, but that's kind of the gist of the first season. Now, there's a really slow start with this show. To be honest, the first episode or two, um, I wasn't super intrigued by, but I wanted to keep with it because Hugh Laurie's really solid in it, and it's fairly well directed, and it, and it was, again, fairly interesting subject matter as well. So I kept with it, and by the end of the season, it actually is pretty good. It's a fairly watchable show. At times, it's actually very intriguing and very interesting. Each episode does leave you with a bit of a cliffhanger, so it does kind of leave you coming back for more. Now, the directing and the writing aren't a whole lot better than what you get out of like a network show, but they are, definitely are a step up. It's just not quite that high, high standard that I'd like to see. Now, the real standout here is Hugh Laurie. The supporting cast is really solid as well. Everyone's good in it, but he is really, really exceptional in it. His character's got a lot going on. There's a lot to kind of tackle behind his, his mind. I don't want to give too much away, but he's not the, the most stable doctor out there. The show generally keeps you in suspense, keeps you in the dark, and there are some nice twists and turns and plot uh, shifts to go on throughout the episodes, and that keeps it interesting. Overall, I give the show a three and a half out of five. It's similar to that show Glitch that I also reviewed in that it's a good show. I don't think you need to go out and see it right away. I think if you've got a backlog of great shows, watch those, right? Don't, don't start this one up until you've kind of finished all those shows. If you really like Hugh Laurie, go check out The Night Manager. If you haven't seen The Night Manager, definitely see that one. That came out this year as well, and that's much, much, much better. So if you've already seen all those really great shows this year and you need something else to fill the time or maybe this show looks really interesting to you, I think you will like it. I just doubt you're going to love it. So check out the show Chance on Hulu. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you liked it, didn't like it, what did you like about it? I always want to hear from you guys. And otherwise, I'll see you guys at the next Culture Critic Review.